we're up in Yorkshire working with Thornhill Community Academy, which is the school that was featured on the programme Educating Yorkshire. The Insights Discovery one has, has, has been one that's very interesting because it is it is so in depth actually, and there's there's so much meat on the bones in terms of the report that comes back. But I I, I read mine and and, and uh, looked at the predominance of sunshine yellow and fiery red and thought, yeah, yeah. Do I change or do I carry on? But being aware and acknowledging the way that I am and the way that other people will perceive me, or do I make modifications and potentially potentially dilute my effectiveness as a leader, um, knowing that the other colours and the colour energies are represented throughout the rest of my team. Is the way I'm being, is that absolutely helpful for everybody? The way I go about things, should that be different for different parts of the lesson? I think absolutely it should, yeah, so it, I think it helps. It's helped me to kind of um, assess where I am and assess where I want to be and what do I need to do to get there. When you're looking after a team, you really get to stop and think about yourself and think about, OK, what do, what do I do well? What do I need to work on? So it's, it's a nice time to stop, think and reflect on on the issues that we face day to day really within a school. I'd never really sort of thought about that sort of dichotomy, if you like, between the home and work. And again, the weird thing is you find yourself thinking in colours. It is, it's useful to have that going on in the background and, yeah, just, and sort of analysing your behaviour almost in real time. We all like to think that we know ourselves, but when you actually see it down on paper, you think, ah, am I really? And then you think, well, yes. I am, and, and I, I was quite amazed, and my colleagues in the, the room as well, as to how accurate that description of our, ourselves was when we carefully thought about the points that were made. But it also polarised for me where I stood on, on the wheel, and the advantages of my personality and how I can use that, but also, more importantly probably, how I have to adapt my personality to work with the other members of the team and I thought it was incredibly useful from that point of view. You should be constantly looking at yourself and how you operate, both as an individual and within your team.